these last few months that I've been privileged to bring a message to you. We've talked about our angels and how they're, they excel in strength and they hearken to the word of the Lord. There's a certain thread that pulls all through these messages that I wanted to, to touch on today and one of them being faith. We had to have faith if we have angels that are created just for us. We have to have faith that they're there or we can't avail ourselves of the power that he gives us from, from creating those angels. Then we talked about our armor that we have on our breastplate of righteousness, our helmet of salvation, our loins are girded about with the spirit of truth, feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel. And praise God, we have the shield of faith in our left hand and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God in our right hand. Also, and then the last time that we talked about praying for our kids, our grandkids, and how important that is in this last part of our life. And uh, we have a lot of time that we can uh, devote to that. And so it's wonderful that we are able to lift our kids, our grandkids, and great-grandkids in some of our cases up to the Lord every day, that, that they will bless them and guide them. So I'd like to start about faith this morning uh, in Hebrews chapter 11, uh, verse 1. It said, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. <clears throat> I think that we, when we're created in the image of God, that we should produce things with our words, and we have to be very careful about what we say and what we think about our faith. But we, if we have faith that He's going to bring to pass what we ask Him, that's an awesome thing that we have as, as far as faith. Because Hebrews 11:6 says that without faith, it's impossible to please Him, and for he who comes to God must come to Him to know that He is, and to know that He's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And so today, as we seek him and we, we love him so much and we, we strive to learn more about him so that we can worship him and praise him all weekend and pray to him about our kids and our grandkids, it came to mind David to me. David uh, was the one that fought Goliath, you know, and he beat that big giant that was about a half again his, si his size. And he did it because the Lord had showed him that he was with him in the time whenever he fought a lion and the devil, I mean, the, the, the Lord delivered the, the lion into his hand the time that he fought the bear and he killed the bear with the Lord's help. He also knew that when he walked up to that giant, he ran towards him and said, I come to you in the name of God because he knew he couldn't do it on his own. So as the week goes by, we must remember that we're created to be dependent on him, not, not independent. There's nothing about me that's independent. I want to be dependent on him in all things. And if we can strive to do that this week and pray for our grandkids and remember that the Lord has given us angels and armor to wear, we thank you, Lord, for this message and we hope that this week will be a wonderful one for all the people. Thank you for loving, protecting, and guiding us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.